Welcome back. Welcome back to yeah. the Tom and Jerry Show. Oh, exci- Season 2. Exciting times, Jerry. Exciting Ex- times. Just really looking forward to it, Tom. We're recording live <laughs> from the Tom and Jerry mobile podcast studio. Yeah, the, the Tom and Jerry... Uh, well, we need to give it a fancy name if we're going to... You know the Tom way and it, Jerry mobile ro- podcast studio. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. All right, fair enough. I was, because they call it Roadcaster and stuff. But we're not on a road. We're in epoxy... Uh, now infamous car park. Yes, indeed. We are broadcasting live from Hansfield train station. Uh, yeah, if you remember that, this is one that Jerry absolutely teed off on. Uh, and and uh, was I wrong, Tom? No, it's fucking bleak. At the it's bleak <laughs> because they've built such a fucking class class setup here. Like this is oh, fucking, right. oh this it looks is like German class, engineering yeah. here, and it's the most fucking bleak. She, like this is post-apocalyptic shit Like there's nothing here You would be wandering around here Wondering where everybody was gone And then there would come a swarm of lads across the, uh, the Exactly yeah yeah if, if Rick from The Walking Fucking Dead He could buy on a horse right here Yeah Yeah But uh, yeah we just needed somewhere to park uh, And this was where we landed up it, it looks incredibly suspicious The two of us in the car here Tom It looks like we're doing some sort of a deal or a sex deal with each other one do, way or Do you know what? Other. People would be confused looking in at us because we don't look like the sort that'd be doing a deal. But we are in the situation. We look like we're new to doing deals. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> we're not sure if we hand over the cash first. Do we, you know, pretend mm. we have a gun? It's really, it's the oddest thing. Here's here's uh, here's the um, the train coming in here now for that, Old Fark. That train is even, no. it hasn't even gotten up to 15 miles an hour, so which would suggest, as you said, that Clancilla is just up there. Like, quite literally, 500 yards away, there's another fucking station. You'll also notice, Tom, that there is three, one, three lads at the back. I see one person and one more, yeah, at the back, yeah. About oh, I was, five inclu- I was on, including the driver. Oh, you're including the driver, yeah. yeah, nobody on the screen. Look, we could sit here and rant about. Uh, Hansfield train station all day, but we've got more to do. We've got yeah, a second yeah, yeah. series. Oh, no, we have uh, a second series. A bit of a couple of changes, a couple of fun things to. Well, fun for us. Yeah. But well, we'll stick with the old favour because we are turning. I mean, we're becoming really cranky old men now. So, but I think we. We'll, oh yeah, yeah. We'll, yeah, we'll, we'll stick. We'll stick. We'll stick with the stock from before. We we'll go with the, yeah. the part what we call giving out yards. Giving out yards, Sam. I'm gonna feel this one this okay. week, all right now, because like I say. Uh, I was grumpy in the last season, and I haven't exactly cheered you, up. You really. haven't at all. If anything, you've uh, you've grown exponentially fucking sour. It's just like more and more things piss me off as every day goes by. Even little things. You're that... not being judged, Jerry. You're not being judged. And I'll tell you what is grow a growing pain for me. Mm-hmm. It is laser cards, Tom. Laser cards is what I'm giving out this week. By laser cards, you mean like. I mean laser payment cards, debit cards, credit cards even if you want to call them. And the reason why I'm so annoyed about them is they're a wonderful thing. They work so well when they work. But everybody decided to add all these little rules and Mm. regulations and conditions and caveats. I know where you're going. Yeah, you don't don't bank with Ulster Bank by any chance, do you? I don't know. I mean, I Try Try buying something with fucking Ulster Bank. Because... Entering your card details is not enough. No. No, 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 no. They now have this fucking jump through these fucking silly hoops. Can you remember your fucking mother's maiden name when she was fucking, you know? (laughs) Oh, (laughs) like, it's like you've lost your passport every fucking time. Every time. And, oh, it's just fucking... I mean, like, the, the, the theory of it is so sound. Here's a little card. You walk into a shop. If you don't have any money, you can have access to all your money, which, again, Tom, might not mm. be all that much any given day of the week. Yeah. But it's there for you if you want it. You give them your card. The plan is good. Yeah. The plan is good. But then somewhere along the way, everybody decided to get a little bit greedy with this. And there's now... Uh, this is the one thing now, one of the main things that pisses me off. There are limits to what you can buy... With laser card, you can't buy anything under a fiver. Oh, minimum, yeah, yeah, port, yeah. minimum, minimum transaction. Fucking, yeah, minimum transaction. Minimum transactions in news agents and things like this. Now, number one, I don't believe that. Uh, I'm not going to say it's not legal, but I don't believe it's. Um, I can verify. It's a choice that they're I making. I can verify that it's not legal because. You know we're proprietors of a of a toy shop. Oh, you have a you have, and a, we have uh, one of those machines, it? and there is a fee on each transaction. All right, but it's but what you do is you the, you absorb that cost. You, well, you have that if you're a fella selling fucking one yoke every two days. 
But if you walk into a news agent, they're selling something every 30 fucking seconds. Right, exactly. They would have bought a deal that has them for anything up to 20,000 transactions a month. Yeah. Once it goes over that, then it starts getting hairy. Yeah. Well, this is the thing. I mean, like, I understand. Uh, okay, you get the, the cash. I'm, I'm not just going to be cranky for no yeah. good reason. Yeah, yeah. See the cash back on laser thing where it says, oh, you must buy 10 euros worth of stuff to get cash back on yeah. laser. Or there's a limit of 50 euros back on cash back on laser. I'm okay with that. I don't want a uh-huh. guy walking in and buying a chomp and getting 200 euros. Yeah, yeah, back. yeah. Fair enough. All right. I'm cool with that. Yeah. But this thing of, oh, you have to spend five euros. That is what has me a stone and a half heavier <laughs> than I was last year, all right? Because I'll go and I'll buy a sandwich in Spa or something like that. A sandwich and a, and a bottle of water comes to four euro and I go to play with uh, laser. And they say, oh, oh, Jesus. Minimum transaction, five euro. And what do you do? Yeah, you get a fucking chocolate bar with you it. You reach Terry. to the left or right for a, a chocolate bar, and a chocolate bar is like 95p. Yeah, P. it's 95 So yeah. you're still not yeah. over it. So now you've got to get the pack of the fucking crisps you as well that you didn't fucking well. want. <laughs> and yeah. I'm like, come on, guys. I'm doing my fucking best here. Yeah. So all of a sudden, your four euro transaction is now a six euro transaction. That's a tenner a week. That's 500 euros in a year. All yeah. of a sudden, gone out of your pocket because these people in the shop chose... To put a minimum transaction on it, and that's what it is. It's a choice, oh, yeah. as you said yourself, Tom. Uh, there, if there's a fee associated with laser, you can absorb that into your into your um, into your purchases. into your overheads. But yeah. the thing is, you, you it, in in most and cases, it's not hundreds of euros. It's no, like no. cents on the these, tenner. These crowds, what they do is you, but you don't do it that way. What they do is they book or you you buy, we'll say. A, a plan like your fucking mobile phone. Okay, right. And so what, it's like... what you do is you say, well, I'm going to take 20,000 fucking transactions a fucking month. And they say, okay, well, that's fucking 400 quid a, a, a month to hire this machine. And we'll give you a warning at 19,000. Right, okay. And you'll be allowed to change your plan mid fucking month to go take it during the Christmas season, take it up to 25,000. So it's nothing to do with individual fucking, uh, watch me call it, it's fucking transactions. transactions no. no, no, no. It's oh not. my God, it's so So now that's, this is going to send you, that's fucking, I've just, Compounded what you just said. Now you're going to be fucking vexed when you go in. So, are you going to challenge the next cunt? Uh, what do you see? This is who do you challenge? Take the fucking, it to fucking task. The the, the teenager Ask for the, the fucking thing. manager, Jerry. Put your foot down. You're old enough now to to, to eat. And I, I, do you know what? I something about yeah. 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 It's not like going to buy milk and there's an eighteen year old girl there telling me I got to run it up to a fiver. I'm just going to ball her out of it. Yeah, absolutely. Go. <laughs> We've hit an age now, Jerry. Where we're allowed. I'm gonna be that guy. Yeah, you can be. Like, if you did that shit when you're 24. You have Tourette's or you, there's a problem with you. <laughs> when you're in your fucking heading, mid-30s, heading for 40s, you're absolute... This is the cards we have to play. I had an old guy in, the, in this morning. I was chatting with him. And the guy told me to get him a fucking chair. <laughs> he could, walked into a toy shop and he says, ah, the, he pops in every so often. He's a pain in the arse, like, but he's all right. He's my fucking leg is killing me. He says, get me a fucking chair. He's because I can do that in my 70s. And I, I, I went and I got, him, enough, I got him I've a, earned it I, I got him a fucking chair There was no question It was like yeah you're absolutely By all fucking means. right But I'll tell you something else is going to piss you off You know these fucking I think it's AIB have, have this one now Because heaven forbid Putting in your fucking numbers Was too much of a fucking task a, AIB have one now Up to 30 euros You just wave your card In front of the machine Here's the thing Yeah I love that the the, the, the the contactless payment Wonderful thing altogether. Really just kind of Beeps you out of it And away you go but why would they roll out a system like that to twenty percent of shops across yeah. the country? Yeah, yeah. So like you're, you're you know you're just there. I, I mean, I personally, I've got a kid of a toddler. He's two, okay. So the contactless, yeah. So yeah, anytime yeah. I'm paying for anything, I'm not a lazy man, okay. But anytime I'm paying for it, I've got like a squirming two year old in one hand. I got like a fucking pint of milk in the other. Yeah. Like if I can pay with my teeth, I'm doing well. You know what I mean? Contactless payment is a wonderful thing. Beep, can, and you're gone. But can you guess what's after happening? What's after happening? Crafty motherfuckers in the UK, and it's apparently it's been copped in Ireland. So you see, to get one of these machines, the mobile ones, the mo- that takes a card, not the one that's plugged in or situated. Right. You need to set up a business account, okay. which is fine because these lads are setting up businesses to buy fucking, you know, fucking fake sex tablets on the internet and stuff like that. All right. Be- setting up a business is a piece of piss. You get one of these card machines. Or what because it's can- contactless payments. Oh, shit. They need only key in 30 fucking... 30 pounds it is in the UK. Yeah. 30 euros it is here. Stand on a fucking train. Well, you'll be fair enough. You'll be safe here because there's nobody around. Nobody around here. 
But you stand on a busy fucking train and, and just, on your arse. just keep bumping it off people's arses, and it only needs to be a four inches. Is all is all it and needs. Beep. So you don't actually need to make contact. Wave See, it this over. Is a, this is this is a wonderful system that uh, that you know. Let's make a thing. Let's make a laser car. Let's make contactless. They're wonderful, and yeah. everybody's all right. But once you release it out into people, then all of a sudden it becomes this terrible thing, and you, everybody just tries to to scam left, yeah. right, and centre. You worked in retail for long enough. Yeah. Of the hardware world. Did were you back in the day when they fucking put a car down and did a swipey thing over it? Were they I, back and forth like one of those no. fucking paper I, things? I I, 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 that was no. What the fuck were I'm they? Not that fucking old, Tom. I know, but I don't know. When, <laughs> well, you're you're from Monaghan, Jerry. I'm just saying, like, yeah, it's you, just. I think what you did was you made um, a carbon copy of the numbers that were on it. And what you took that to the bank and you filed that to the bank, yes. Okay, all right. As is my understanding of it. Fair don't, enough. Don't hold me to that now, but um, but yeah, this is another thing. Like maybe it's maybe I'm not maybe I'm not right giving out about laser cards. Maybe I should just be giving out about how people in general are are really just out to gouge everyone left, right, and center. Yeah, but that's that's it. The world. That's look at anything, and it's just all trying to fucking. That's why I just my dream of living off the grid. In a fucking cave somewhere, yeah. you know. This hence, and this is the guy talking on a H two Zoom, <laughs> <laughs> perpetuating my fucking shit to the world on via the internet. Via the internet, yeah. which is a wonderful thing. That's that's the one thing I would, yeah, I would keep. But yeah, I mean, but you're, yeah, I mean, you who who's behind debit cards? Well, fucking banks. Are we? They probably de- we could this spend we well. could spend twenty episodes giving out about fucking the evilness that is a bank. Like, but what I'll tell you as well with a laser card, all of a sudden it's here's access to all your money whenever you want it. Yeah, thank you, thank you very kindly. Oh, by the way, anytime you access your money, we're going to charge you a fee. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. We're going to charge you a fee for taking money out. We're going to charge you a fee for buying a chomp. Yeah, for you buying know, a chomp. If you can get a ch- if you can get a place that'll accept laser for a chomp. Yeah. Uh we're just going to goose you left, right and centre. It's your money. There you go. We're paying for you. Tom, this is why I keep all my money in a Coleman's mustard jar. Now you're talking. Out the back of the house somewhere. And Jerry right? keeps 3,000 Coleman mustard jars in the house just in case. That's why I That's why I went to the bank. I withdrew my 740 euro. <laughs> <laughs> I, put, I put it in a Coleman's mustard jar and I put that jar in a jam jar. That's now. That's how you fucking do it. That's how you bank. Yeah. All right. Just like, like, you know, you look at these old lads that uh, that had like uh, thousands and thousands of pounds stuffed into their mattresses and yeah. all those kind of things, and they died with money being eaten by rats. But they had it right. They were never charged two no. cent for transacting. Fucking right, they thing. fucking weren't. They didn't fucking queue up either inside just to look at some fucking guy who hates your fucking guts. There was one and only guy. That I ever actually enjoyed going into the bank to chat. He was a lovely fucking fella. He was there in Liffey Valley. He worked in the fucking bank anytime he was in there. He was like, hey, how's it going? He was like a guy who understood where he worked. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I know I'm working for a country organisation here, Tom, but I'll try and lighten your fucking day. Are you sure he worked for the bank? He wasn't just some guy that, Maybe like, when was. you left, they were like, <laughs> the, tor- get the out. bank guys get came the fuck like, out, Gary. Tori told you to get out of here, man. Don't come around here no more. <laughs> but, and then they fucking move him. They move into some other fucking bank. It was, oh, it was fucking terrible. I don't know. Uh, like I say, no, I do. Like, laser I... cards. Uh, and again, everything is wrong. Uh, the the theory is good, but we as a society just aren't ready for it. You know, it's 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 like it's like it's, it's too good for us. It's like, too fucking easy. That's the problem. It's too fucking easy because it's like a guy like you know during the boom and I remember a fucking real real cynical friend of mine. We were talking about these. He was in the buildings and we we're selling these fucking fucking rat houses right. for three hundred and fifty fucking thousand. Lovely. I remember, and the people were queuing up. Because it was a fucking nice area to fucking live in. People were queuing up to fucking buy these things. And I remember a mate of mine saying to him, one of his cousins, who was going, were desperate to buy one of these, like these fucko things underneath the duplex. You know those things that got a window at the back, one at the front? Yeah. That's it. You don't even know how you're supposed to get into them. No. No, no. And heaven... Your door is here. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But, <laughs> but you... the house is actually upstairs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's exactly <laughs> it. Like. But it's... Uh... And he said to him, he was like, have you ever seen what 350,000 looks like sitting up on the table? And he was like, I, I, I've never even conceived that. He goes, I know you haven't. Because all you hear is numbers and facts. He says, you're not... St- I, hand me over 350 fucking thousand for those couple of fucking bales of blocks over there put, yeah. put together and painted. And it's just, it's... It makes no sense. Makes no fucking sense. It makes no sense. I mean, so like... You see hard fucking cash in front of you. But you're, they're trying to get rid of fucking... The Bitcoin now. Have you heard of Bitcoin? I don't understand what that is. The world is going to be fucked if Bitcoin takes off because you can... It's all virtual money. You have never, you never fuck like guys are laundering fucking Bitcoin, 
and they're just fucking buying Lamborghinis with it out the other end. Can I hold a Bitcoin? No, you can't. You could only read a Bitcoin. Can't do the teeth thing no, with a Bitcoin? No, it sounds lovely. It sounds Bitcoin. They made it really fucking sound apart. And it's a little gold gold fucking symbol as well. It's like, an icon. Like a cougar ant. Like a <laughs> <laughs> but they just, you can't, you can't, uh, Bitcoin only works on the internet. Uh, but out the other end, you can buy shit. So you could say you fucking dump 500 fucking thousand of fucking money you got from fucking selling fucking orphans. <laughs> right. and, but out the other end You buy two Lamborghinis And then you flog Those Lamborghinis Second hand That's how you launder Your Bitcoin money And there's no way Of monitoring it Jesus Crow Yeah Holy shit Yeah And here's me struggling With contactless people <laughs> yeah. Huh Holy yeah. shit Yeah I'm telling you Jerry We're fucked That's what it is I mean like you know Whoever came up With the concept Of debit cards Or whatever Probably had noble intentions Hey let's get Let people access Their money And you know Let's let everybody Do well But then Everybody else Got their hands on it And tried to make An extra few pounds Do you think Do you think They were born Out of honest intentions I don't think I think everything is Do you Yeah I think everything is I mean even like The person who invented the gun Probably just said Hey I really want (laughs) to I really want to get This piece of metal Just 20 yards away From me really quick Yeah 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 Hey look it kills people yeah, <laughs> an unexpected side effect. I suppose, but you know what? Then there was an older guy, just you know, who smoked a fag, standing behind him in the shadows, going, "I like where you're going with this card thing, kid." So you're telling me we get to charge him every time they use this card thing for their own fucking money? But the other guy was like, "No, that's not what I meant no, at no, all. No, that's no, not no. what I meant I, at I, all." I mean, I mean, and then the, then the guy's like, "No, no, well, that's what we're fucking doing, you know." Yeah. And also, uh, then a, a plastic bag was put over that kid's fucking head, and he was just thrown in a freezer. Yeah, and then uh, uh, um. Like Ticketmaster or someone like that were like, we can take credit card payments over the phone. It's a simple thing. Put in your number and you're away. Oh shit, we can't even do that right. Uh, and all of a sudden, like uh, it's a, it, it's just a noble intention of a little card that you can use as money anywhere you want. And everybody got their greedy stinking hands on it mm. and fucked it all up. Ah, uh, but that that's the thing. How did they fucking charge two euros fifty for? Credit card fees. I mean, they're not paying. I can guarantee you, they're not paying that the to the bank. All the bastards. Did they all meet like in some fucking like round table, like all these fucking you know like big crowds? Spectre. Yeah, like fucking Spectre. <laughs> no, but it would be far more fucking interesting than fucking Spectre. <laughs> Dave Batista wouldn't be sitting in a fucking yeah in a fucking. What was he driving? There's no way that big bastard would have fitted in that car. Little, anyway. uh, it was Aston Martin, wasn't he? No, he, he was, was in the Aston Martin. The other guy was in a fucking. He was in. Uh, a noble or something. It's something that there's no fucking way a, bl- a twenty-two stone fucking no, he's monster. No, fucking the two of us together. Fuck me. There's no way he'd get into that <sighs> fucking thing. Any rich. Yeah, I do appreciate it. I do appreciate what you're saying, Jerry. It's a fucking. It's laser cards. They could have been brilliant, Tom. They could have been, but the fucking things is only worse they're getting. It's only worse they're getting, and that's why I'm giving out yards about it. Take it away from me, Tom. Ah, oh, all right, we'll dump I'm that done. fucking one. But we, I know that we'll come back to that one because you like you're gonna have now. You're gonna be thinking of stories. I'm going to be waiting to, for a story of of how a debit card fucked me over. Oh, I'm going to have to tell yeah, you about it. Drive to a shop and buy something, Tom. <laughs> <laughs> You're not going to have to wait that long. Absolutely. Oh, man. So we'll, we'll move on to the next one. We'll move part on to the next one as long term listeners and uh, people that know us, which is yes. basically the same thing. Yeah. Uh, no, myself and Tom are stand up comedians. That's what we do. At times. Uh, I, haven't, I haven't had a gig in a while now, we're all together now. We fun at the in the Workman's Club. That was the last time we gigged together. That was the last yeah. time we gigged together, yeah. Um, that was the most grotesque fucking. Like probably to say the Workman's Club in Dublin, it's it's a long standing fucking indie fucking uh, grungy club, grungy club cool. of music. But it worked out well for comedy that night. We were to get there together, but stage and a mic. Doing, yeah, well, essentially that's it. But the last time we gigged together, only us was over in the Civic Theatre, and where the, it is pristine. Oh yeah, as theatres go. The chain, the fucking our dressing room had bulbs around the fucking mirror. It was, it yeah, was too it was good for us. Else, it was yeah. too good for us. Basically, Workman's was a little bit more our speed. Oh, but Jesus Christ! I stood it on wasn't, a nail. What? <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't. It wasn't even. I think it even. It it took what we were like. Jesus Christ! There was. I've never seen such a grungy, fucked up looking dressing room. Like it, it was. I counted at last count while you were on stage. I counted thirty two. Cocks drawn all over the walls. Well, I'm glad, and that's and I know I didn't get to the end of them. 
I'm glad I'm glad Miss Seth held your attention. <laughs> <laughs> no, the problem was I couldn't stand to listen to it. No, not that I couldn't stand right, to listen yeah, to it. Yeah, okay. Totally. <laughs> <laughs> I quite literally could not stand because there was a. Uh, I got kids to feed. <laughs> <laughs> There's a bury me here. The, the fucking the stairs is immediately on. There is no landing area. There's no half landing oh, right yeah. beside the stage. So either I lie on the stairs like some sort of fucking I don't know. One of the lads you see begging at a fucking, uh, you know, a Barcelona fucking train station, like. But it was, it was yeah, it was. By and large, it was a good gig, but they ain't all good, Tom. Yeah, no, they're not they all good. That's, a that's, bad one than that. Oh which, Jesus Christ! And we talking about them in a segment we called <gasps> worst gig, gig ever. ever. Holy shit, Tom! You're gonna feel this. Yeah, one this yeah, because I, 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 this one is fresh in the memory, Jerry. Oh, this one is. This, this is fucking. This, this is. This one is 2016. This, isn't I'd it? even let this one sit for a while. That's <laughs> that's. I wouldn't digest this immediately, like. Like eggs need to be, you know, you need to leave eggs for about a week before you're if, after, they, after they leave their hen. This is only this is only ten days. You see what it is, Tom. If you come back to this six months down the line, when the psychological damage of it has has really cracked into yeah. you, you might have more to say about it. But I want to hear about it now. No, yeah, because I'm in, I, I'm still in the jovial spirit of it. You know that kind yeah, of way. You, yeah, you've got that sort of shell yeah, shock no, here. Like it's not I'm, that bad. It's it's okay. It's all right. I've been through fucking wars before, but this was uh this was this was ten days ago down in was it ten days? Yeah, be about yeah ten days ago. Down, no, sorry, two weeks ago. Two weeks ago, down in uh, in in the sunny southeast of Ireland, in Wexford. Wexford's nice. Uh, yeah, Wexford can be nice. And I'd had a gig three weeks previous, uh, not twenty miles up the road, full house, rocking fucking venue. That's what you want. Yeah, you couldn't fucking ask for better. Oh, what happened oh. this time, Tom? This time, Jerry, uh, the concept of actually running the fucking scenario. Yeah, it wasn't it wasn't in their forte. No. Yeah, and apparently the same company that ran the one two weeks previous were running this one. So I was high on confidence. Right. High okay. on confidence. Except they did one that could do too, this right? This is going to be a double barrel. This is going to be so good for my fucking emotional situation. Well, Jerry, no. <laughs> we a solo warrior oh, on this one. Oh fuck me. Fuck me. There was three of us heading down. Okay. Two of which had done the including me had done the the one two weeks previous. The third guy was new on the on the thing and he was excited and they'd kind of given me inclinations that the ticket sales hadn't been hectic before the show. We've heard that before. But that's alright. They said, look, it's the kind of town that has a lot of walk-ups. That's the way they said it, you know? Yeah. Now, I it, mean, wasn't, like, it wasn't Wexford Town, it was another town outside of Wexford. I don't I don't I personally don't buy tickets in advance of much. No, no, nor I, unless like let's face it, I'm no Bruce fucking Springsteen. No. I mean there will be tickets. There will be tickets, you yeah. Know. So I would always kind of leave it till the day yeah. I get tickets. I can rock up again. I, so anytime anyone tells me like, oh, ticket sales are a bit slow, I'm like, oh, that's okay. But anybody that wants to go will probably still go. No, I'm still not asking for too much from these people. So I get into, the three of us get into the place where we're a bit early. Looks a little desolate, I have to say. Looks a little desolate. No sign of the 60 posters I'd sent them two months previous. <laughs> now, I tell a lie, there was one. It was in behind the desk on the wall. In it, between 40 other fucking posters. Might I ask you, Thomas, is this a pub or a club? This or was a theatre. This was a theatre. There what, what's the one Cold thing? The one thing in theatres, Jerry, is sell fucking shows. That's they have the, nothing else have going on. Do. They have nothing else going on. It was like everybody's first fucking rodeo. Holy sweet mother of Jesus. Because sometimes the pub will drop the ball when it comes to promotion. Yeah, because why? Their, their main They're goal selling is selling booze. Anywhere. Selling what? fucking booze. No, not these fuckers. God bless them. They were lovely. But, you know when you kind of meet... Um, you know a fucking cousin who shit had been a good cousin or you know a friend who shit had been a good friend but you kind of allow them that because they're nice about it. You know what I mean? Like They're like, oh... I totally forgot to fucking do that thing exactly I told you would tell oh, you to I do and you're like that. and you have it in your heart to light him up because you're hoping outside of all hopes but you you know you're at this game long enough Jerry and just the smell of the scenario tells you what you're fucking going You can be. tell it a week away. And for some reason you still keep lying to yourself you're like no oh, this could come out of the fire. We'll this, do it. This could come Let's out of the fire. Let's pull this one through. The opening sign wasn't too good like the, you knew that this place was government built. Right, it's got Nobody, that fucking vibe. About oh, it was immaculate. It was a one time, once upon a time church, big high had, atrium. Something. Oh, it was like the the building was actually stunning. As you know, uh, to uh, to a fall, you could not say a thing against the building. It was in a great location in the town. It was on a main road. They had every opportunity to put up a fucking any t- any of the posters or anything to tell people. We go in there, and the girl says, "So, uh, yeah." 
Now we're a sh- we're an hour out. This is the girl from behind the desk. So I was ch- I've been the one that was chatting with you on the phone, Tom. That is lovely, lovely to meet you. Three of us are standing there. It's just so. Uh, do you want to hang out in the foyer, or you know what do you want to do? I said, well, typically in 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 these theatre scenarios, there's some sort of an old room we can. Yeah. You know, they call them dressing rooms. Jerry. Dressing you room, know, green t- room. That's typically. Oh, oh, we have. Yeah, we have one of those. Why can I not go to it? Yeah. This place was finished off. Like, I don't know who took on the initial build of it, but who finished it off were the same blokes that finish off a public hospital. Right. You know the, you know those fucking, those highly expensive linoleum floors that come halfway up? Yeah, 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 yeah. The wall. And so you've no skirting. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And they had that smell of TCP. And everywhere. you can just kind of, so you can power hose it down. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Blood and guts and shit Whatever and stuff. Whatever yeah. I know exactly when you're on. Oh, sweet Jesus. So she leads us down to this room with no chairs. Okay. This is a dressing room, apparently. Again, I don't ask for much. I don't ask for much. But to, to be fair, you don't get dressed sitting down. No, no, true. So, you know, the theory is sound so far. Yeah, fair enough, fair enough. But it was just, it was every question we were being asked, it was like they were learning it for the first time. <laughs> there was absolutely no, there was nothing laid on to say, we know what we're fucking doing here, and lads. Was it, a, was, it a, was it a place that was only recently opened? or is it... No, it's open 10 years. So, dude, like, they're fucking They've had a few shows at. through there, yeah. God's yeah, yeah. Sake. I mean, to say that stand-up comedy needs very little. We need absolutely yeah, nothing. If no. the mic breaks, you just shout. Yes. That's it. Like, nobody's going to fucking shit the bed. What we do like is a few people in front of us. And anybody listening that says, well, you hear me and Tom giving out about, oh, they didn't put up the posters. And they say, well, so what, pal? How, how all of a sudden did you not be funny because someone didn't put a poster up? No. Yeah. You need a crowd in front of you. And if that, uh, the crowd isn't there because the people that are running it didn't bother their hole to advertise it. Oh, my Jesus. You see, this is the thing. You see, being funny is probably about third on the list. Oh, being funny is well down the list. You've, you've got to market that shit first. Holy shit, yeah. But I'm not asking for much. I sent them the fucking posters. But anyway, we get in. I, I, I says, well, all right. So what time is kickoff? I says, it's not looking too healthy. Now, to say it wasn't looking too healthy, I had a little look out. Yes. From behind the curtain. And... There was two white-haired ladies. Okay. <sighs> and rather than having it set up, this place was stunning. You should have seen the ceiling. It was a fucking... It was a part of a fucking nunnery one time. It was their church, their chapel. Get thee to a nunnery go. Yeah, these two looked like they were still there from when it was a fucking nunnery. And they had... <laughs> Tom, were they there at all? They could have been ghosts. This, oh, they, had, <laughs> they had the fucking... They had the place laid out dinner dance style. With, oh fuck Rather me. than actually Rows of fucking chairs I said well, Who picked that fucking She was like Well we just thought It'd be nice You know We didn't know how comedy I said it's oh. just a show Just chairs Will do fine You don't have to go Sticking linen fucking cloths Linen cloths oh, Over Christ. fucking tables And have everybody Sitting sideways They had the first Fucking tables 20 feet back from the stage This is another thing here People You might think That we're giving out About an awful lot Like oh what difference Does that make mm. uh, It was 20 feet away And your joke lost It's humour On that distance No it's not But there's like a It's it's like, it's like a moat It's like a pit That's it That's that's oh, Like comedy only needs A handful of things to work You know what I mean And jokes Grand We got them well, Close that, that, proximity to the stage Close proximity Direct sight lines That's it that's fucking it, so they can hear you and see you and fucking kind of and get involved. And get, get involved. involved. But oh. this thing when they're fucking twenty foot away from the stage, like what are we going? We're not going to bite. So we get the call anyway. You want? Did you ever? Yeah, before you go on any yeah. time, did you ever? Did you ever uh, pace forward the twenty steps? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Always, yeah, yeah. If I've ever been on the stage and I'm like fucking twenty feet away from the audience, yeah. I just lift mic, lift stand, and just walk up to yeah. the. To where well, they are I had checked It was about Mountain 60 foot come, of ca- come It was about 60 foot of cable I was going to go down But here's the thing So it says to your man I says what, what are we genuinely expecting Now this room could hold 140 Packed Right So I was going Give me half that And I'd be fucking delighted Yeah Give me give me quarter of that And we can do something with it We'll give a good show 12 people Oy. Yeah that's, which, that's not even a tenth, Tom. Th- which even, which fair play, it, it eventually became 22 people showed up. <laughs> 22. Now, one of those was my aunt and her friend. Uh, you know, sweet stuff nice, Jesus. It's nice when there's a family member there to see you. Oh, die. I know, I know, I you know. know. And up I go, because I'm hosting this shit. Oh. oh, to say that I'm unexcited. So your man comes back anyway, this guy, 
who was, was still smoking a cigarette walking through the building, by the way. Was it, Did it make start time? He, uh, yeah, we fucking, we ju- I just said we may as well. Yeah, let's we do We all it. have fucking homes to go to. So Didn't I get dressed up for nothing. So we're, we're pl- the plan was to kick off a quarter to nine. So... In comes your man, still smoking a cigarette indoors now. Which Why is not? Yeah, which would kind of tell you a few things, you know. He says, so, uh, yeah, what time do you want to kick it off? I says, listen, I says, you're the tech. Now, normally the tech on these scenarios would be the first guy. He wants to meet you because he wants this shit running right because his name is on the fucking, right. on the thing. He says, well, uh, I suppose you could call me that. Ugh. Another sign that things are going to be a little hairy. The fuck else are we going to call you, pal? He says, what way do you want the lights? I says, I sp- um, yeah, on me. Yeah, I says, just a, a spot of sorts will do fine, and just lower the light on the audience. You know yourself. And he was like, no, I don't know. Now this guy was in his late fifties. I'm guessing he wasn't just. He didn't walk in off the fucking street. I says, look, here's the way it's going to play out. You do exactly that. Have you? I says, have you a, a mic down the back? You can just give the fire announcement, which you have to do for theaters, and just fucking shout me onto the stage. It'll Simple be great. It'll Welcome be great. to the stage, your host. He says, that's no problem. He does none of those fucking things. <laughs> <laughs> he does fucking none of them. This guy with glasses, oh, shaking like a shitting dog, goes, I can announce you on if you want. I went, okay. Yeah, I all right." Care. He says, okay, so, um, I said, just, you know, I said, probably don't need the fire announcement given, but it's up to you, given that there's 21, 22 people in the fucking room that can hold 140. They'll all get out fine. Yeah. They'll all get they out just fine. just sit where they are. Yeah, stay where they are. <laughs> so he says, all right. Now, I'm guessing this chap has never stood on a stage in front of any kind of a live audience before because I thought he was going to have an off stage mic, which is the norm. It's just, I could see a mixing board down the back. You could plug a shitty old mic into it, just announce me on the stage. One, two, one, two, ladies and gentlemen. So on he gets. Now, your man hasn't dropped the lights at this stage. The, I'm inverting commas here. The tech, who is down the back, smoking a fag. <laughs> this guy goes on, Liam was his name. Or was something like Liam. He goes on stage. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Fucking <laughs> hell. I'm say, I'm actually at this stage. I'm thinking this is actually fucking funny. This is like, um, we'd like to just uh, tell you that in the case of a fire, um, please form an orderly queue <laughs> and observe that there's a door. He's gonna and, fucking die. Yes, yeah, this guy was having fucking convulsions on the stage. I'm down the fucking side of the stage, just going, what the fuck have I led myself into? All right, all right, Tom. Come on, Tom. You can fucking do this. That's when he says, so for this evening's ceremonies, um, I'll hand you over to Tony O'Mahony. Lovely. You had one fucking job, Liam. One fucking job, Liam. (sighs) And he just walks off to deathly silence. And you... I walk on to deathly fucking silence. Oh, Oh, mother of fucking Jesus. Not even like... Nothing, nothing. They're just looking at me like I'm about to come on. I'm fucking... I don't know what I don't know in what scenario you would walk onto a stage to zero reaction. I I can't can can you think of like they're sitting in an audience arena, a stage a person's about to walk onto stage. I can't think of any scenario political, fucking even at a shitty yeah you even know, at a rally for, for a politician you hate it you go like oh fuck there be something fucking nothing. I mean nothing. These people were more embarrassed than that poor son of a bitch. <laughs> Holy fuck. So I get out there and I, the only thing I could do was... Just, I sat down on the edge of the stage, Jerry, and said, "If all right, before we kick this shit off, did anybody hear him call me fucking Tony? Yeah. And like three people had copped it and went, oh yeah, okay, you're not Tony. Right. This is, this is still not funny. Ugh. So I, the only thing I could... Fo- and the, I mean, the gig went as... It went fucking as well as it possibly could I got them to drag their chairs up I, expl- I explained the weirdness of it now I'm not going to name the town we were in but the 21 people in that room were none of them were from that town they were shipped in these were, pe- these were people who obviously saw it on the internet somewhere and made it their business to get there and made it their business to get there that well, that's nice now either this town has you zero- sell tickets bro yeah but not one fucking person from a town of eight and a half thousand came. Oh. Not one. Which I can't believe that there wasn't one of them who was at a fucking loose end on a Saturday night for handy money thought, fuck it. 
I'll go see a couple of fellas that were on the telly one time. I can't believe that they didn't. I went out and I, after the show, I was like, are you fucking serious? How the fuck did you fuck up so bad? And they were like, well, we put him up where we were permitted to put him up. Like the fucking library. <laughs> they put him up. <laughs> Are you fucking Are you fucking joking me the Local fucking, chip shops perhaps You asked for 60 fucking posters And I've only seen one And one of the other guys He wasn't going to be He was closing the show So he knew he'd about an hour and a bit to. Go. He went for a walk around the town Yeah Not one No And there was posters of other shit up around the place no, Yeah I can't imagine a theatre has fallen out so fucking badly This is it Like oh god Tom oh, I was on a fucking level of just m- fucking That misery. one Like sometimes you do a bad gig and it's like, you know, comically... No, no, this was not... Comically, hysterically bad. I'm sorry bad. to anybody listening to this. But Surreally there is, bad. There was just nothing funny in this. It this was is just, just bone-achingly terrible. Yeah. And it could have been fucking half decent. That's the killing thing. You know when you talk, we talk about these the whole time? And there was no survival. Yeah. It was never going to be good. No. All the situations were wrong. This is fucking hamburger hell. Nobody's this, getting off this thing. You know, we talked about the ones in the shitty pub and lads with fucking, fucking Mickey Joe Hart and guys with guns and stuff like that fucking. And there was never. They never even had a fucking Wasn't chance. Wasn't there. Never It's a like chance. a fucking one-legged man in a key arse kicking competition. He was never going to do well. But this here could have been something it nice. It could have been good. You, and you would trust, trust it in people who at all, their only job. Their only fucking job Was to put arses on seats The guy called me Tony Oh fucking hell If he called me Tim But <sighs> Tony It's two syllables Tav well, it Just <laughs> beggars fucking belief <laughs> Beggars belief Oh it was Kill it Tom oh, Kill it It was absolutely Like I, And it hasn't hurt me yet But I know Oh well it this will. one will grind you. This one will fucking grind with Isn't me Isn't it Every time you go to see your aunt And her friend Yeah It'll yeah. grind you they, they they left swiftly enough afterwards. Yeah. Yeah, I would have left. And she's I a nice aunt. You know that kind of way? swiftly. Yeah, she's a nice aunt too. She would have hung around if there was something to talk about. But she, we knew. You know that kind of way? We both knew. There was nothing fucking could be done about it. That is a worse gig ever. Yeah, I know. Fuck no. That's All right, terrible. Yeah, stick a fork in it for now because I don't want to depress anybody. Anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Tom, do you know what it is? Uh, we got some feedback from the podcast and people thought that we might be excessively negative at times. You know what I mean? Always giving out about things. Yes, I know. And we got a thing like, you know, we got a bit of a reputation as being that podcast where people give out about shit. Yeah, uh, I know. Yeah, yeah, you're right. And it, 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 I didn't, it, I won't say it hurt. No. But I was a little surprised because we do have a positive enough outlook on things. Like, I love know, lots of things. If anything, it's a self-help kind of thing just to avoid the shit that we've gone through. Exactly. That's really yeah. what we're doing it for. But like we said, we'd, uh, we'd come up with a new segment for the podcast. With cheerier. We'll, 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 we'll discuss, you know, you know what? We do like things. And then, like, you know, we people do. might say, well, like, what are you going to say? You like comedy? You like guns? You like, yeah. uh, you like all this kind of shit? Heavy like, machinery and, no, and whatnot. No, 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 but there are things. There are things we like that maybe you wouldn't... You, you wouldn't, wouldn't think we like You it. wouldn't have guessed. So that's why we came up with a segment called... Mm. You, wouldn't you wouldn't think, think we'd, we'd like, like that. This. Yes, you know, we, mm. you would not think we'd like this. Just things that... Uh, you might not think the two lads in their yeah. mid-30s that enjoy drinking. Tom, you enjoy haunting. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, we got him sitting here with an actual hunter. Yeah, well, I'm stripping down engines. Uh, I don't know if I like it, but it's, you do it. Yeah, you know that kind of way. Like, you, you, it's you, the longest I've seen you go without stripping down an engine. Yeah, I know. But <laughs> like we, I mean, even driving here, we we talked about cars and car parts on the way here. But I, I don't know if I, I suppose I do like it, but it's like, I, I just kind of, I think I, I, I kind of have to do it. Do you know that kind of way? It's like. I I have to know about it. I I I am guessing had I been raised in another environment I might have been in, impeccable at I don't know, needlework. Needlework well, there. Yeah. I'm, 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 I'm a feel this one this week, Tom. Yeah, there's yeah, yeah. That, there's a thing that I just absolutely love. What is it, Jerry? I'm actually excited to hear what you I love. Really I know love. some of the things you do love. I know some of the things you do love. Oh you wouldn't But I want to I want you to You mightn't have guessed this, Tom. Okay. I love doing the washing. The washing. I fucking love clothes washing. The laundry, like the you... laundry. Yes, the mm. laundry time. I would not have guessed that. I would do laundry all day, every day. Now, I don't don't take from this that I love housework. I but, don't. But what, it, what? What? And is it any particular? Nope. Is Everton. It, is it? Uh, can we get deep and metaphorical here? Maybe it's your washing away of your sins or your. 
You know, you're... Mm, no. No, it's not just the, even a, the smell of fucking bold on a not Saturday Not necessarily, no. I just like the logistics of it. <laughs> I, of it. I, I can get that, actually, yeah. Like, and I, the time involved. But you kind of feel like this is what, you, you know, this is a, you're just trucking from upstairs to downstairs, really like, can, you know? Yeah, yeah. You and know? It's, 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 it's like, I can't cook. Okay, all right. But I'm, I'm fascinated with people that can take ingredients and make a lovely meal. Because mm. I can't do it. I'll cook for you. I can cook. You can cook? Yeah, I can cook. I, I can't cook. I can't do that. But what I can do is I can take a load of dirty clothes, <laughs> make them clean, and make them dry. That's the thing as well. If you, you think see, about that, 50 years ago, you would have made a fucking amazing housewife. If that was your only fucking thing. The, this is what it was, Tom. It, it was like, you know, like anybody can wash clothes. Getting them dry is more of a Oh, science. no. Getting them dry no. is a thing. Like getting dry takes planning, all right? What's your favorite type of drying? Outdoor on the washing, on the line? Outdoor on There's the line. There's like nothing like line, 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 line dry. Dry. Yeah. And you got to plan it, man. You can't... Like, you can't be joking. Not in this country. You can't be joking. Or... You got to... Like, if you're going to do a wash and dry it on the line, mm. man, you got to fucking... You got to look up the weather. Like, you got to plan that shit. And you got to yeah, look... Yeah. And say, okay, I'm looking outside. It looks sort of half decent, and it looks like it might stay that way till yeah. around about four or five o'clock. It's one o'clock now. Can I get a load of washing washed on the line and fairly dry? That is some bare grill shit planning. That is because by the got... time I get it back in, that's like fucking. That's like trekking the Sahara, man. Fucking hell! I'm surprised you don't have one of those little wind cup things. You know, just spins. I know. Oh god, I'm gonna make it. I get, oh, slow down! I can't write that fast. I gotta get all this shit. <laughs> like honestly, it is like bare grills when he when he's talking about the Sahara. He goes, if you're not prepared, you're not gonna last an hour in this desert. But you do. I can so see, be it with washing. I can see a level of accomplishment. All right, like in that, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it really is. I mean, like you know, get it in, and, and and don't get me don't get me wrong. I'm not all that well versed in how to work a washing machine. Yeah, I know how to get it. I know how to get it to like a sixty degrees, uh, sixty degrees standard wash. Okay, right. Okay, this thing where you separate it and you have to piss around and put in for cottons and put in for oh, fuck yeah, like it's, no, I just no, don't do that. I yeah. put everything in on one general wash. You know, I know not to put in anything that's too liable to run. Yeah, you're like not this. going to put in a fucking a cashmere sweater in at 60 or 70 fucking degrees. Exactly, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, and we don't have a dryer, so we can't just throw the clothes in the dryer and dry it. Although that's cheating now. I used to live in a place that did have a dryer. Yeah. It was, I, felt, I felt like I was cheating, you know what I mean? It was, there I is, like yeah. Anybody can solve a problem with money, Tom, you know? Like, <laughs> you could just throw money just at throw it. throw money at it. Just, yeah. Yeah, run the dryer for an hour and a half. No, there's, I, I, there's, and there's something. I mean, they've been drying clothes for fucking... Thousands of fucking years. I mean, there is there's an element of of you know harping back to fucking old ways and stuff like that. And you're like, you give it the fucking and you can get caught caught because like if it's a big sheet or something on the line, you go oh, up and yeah. you're like you feel it like halfway up and you're like, oh, we're in business. But you get down to the fucking bottom fucking bit and of it's that. wet. Yeah. Do you know where do you know where like sheets like sheets like you know washing clothes is like going for a walk up. Crook Patrick, you yeah, know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. But like big sheets, that's K2. Yeah, that's, that's, <laughs> that's nor your North Face fucking puffer jacket you bought in fucking you, Parnell Street you, is not gonna fucking start you out there. You like. gotta get sorted, alright? So like you know, the sheets where where it's gonna be still wet mm. is where you've folded it across the line. Yeah. And where it meets the line yeah, yeah, yeah. is where you're gonna get like the densest gathering of material. So what you gotta do is it, it, it is like uh Baking a cake and turning it and all yeah, this kind no, of thing. Jerry, you see, maybe you maybe you're underselling yourself at cooking with this sort of planning. And pro- I mean, all it would take is is just a conversion to just fucking oven and fucking ingredients. I don't know, but like you might be the next Paul Hollywood and not fucking know it. <laughs> the next fucking Mary Berry. I'm the I'm the I'm the Paul Hollywood of getting a wash dry. I can tell you that much now. Do you know what uh, 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 is the thing? Drying clothes inside because, like, if you get out on the line, it's lovely. You get a nice day. You get lovely fresh clothes in off the line. Yep. It's all good. Uh, and even like, God forgive me, Tom. Uh, when I'm putting clothes out on the line, um, I've bought pegs. Right. There are times that I've bought pegs, and I'll be putting clothes out on the line. Mm-hmm. And I'll be like, these pegs are no good. <laughs> So fucking these pegs are substandard aren't, fucking these pegs. pegs aren't as good as the last. Pegs Those ones that just when you squeeze them together and they just fly apart and the snap. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I'm here going or like you know you, you go out and you're like these pegs are leaving a mark. My my <laughs> f- dis- disgust. Yeah, my my aunt in uh, in in Florida fucking loves coming here and she's a pain in the arse at the best of times, but she loves coming here for the washing. Yeah, because. 
if you live in Florida, which is essentially just a fucking no, no, no white people were ever meant to fucking try a duvet in twenty minutes. But it's no, it's fucking horrible. Everything comes in like you fucking starched it. You right, could, okay, yeah, 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 a yeah. A sheet comes in like a fucking sheet of plywood. You could fucking hock fucking six of them up on your shoulder and walk them in like... My sheets, my sheets used to go out like that. <laughs> <laughs> Halfway through that, I knew you were going to fucking say that. <laughs> Back in my uh, pre-relationship uh, days, that's exactly how my sheets the used to walk, them, walk themselves. <laughs> you could snap them across your knees now. <laughs> but you know what? Drying on the line is one thing, but like there's any, there's a... Tremendous skill in drying clothes inside. Now I've lived in, in apartments and flats. Yeah. You've done the same where yeah. a line was just not open to you. Yeah, and you'd have to dry in the house. That's when you had to get crafty. Yeah, all right, because you've got backs of chairs, backs of chairs. Yeah, you have a clothes horse that's only going to fit so much. Yeah, maybe you've got like really, really um, dense material that needs to go on a radiator, but you've mm. only got so much radiator yeah. space. Okay, because like I know at home. The, the, the wee man's um, My wee boy uh, His tracksuit bottoms If he wears tracksuit bottoms And they're yeah. that sort of Flannelly material uh-huh. uh, And little boy's Trousers are Elasticated waists <laughs> Right Their jeans yeah. have Elasticated waists Yeah That's a fucking Nightmare to dry Tom That shit has Got to go on a radiator Of course You cause cannot they, put that On the like dryer There's like nine times Them folded material Up at exactly, the fucking waist yeah. Jeez, So you gotta yeah. get the, So you gotta You gotta plan You gotta get everything And you're putting everything On the on the clothes horse You just can't throw shit On willy nilly man No It's just like playing I never went through When I lived in apartments With clothes horses I never fucked out more Half all right socks Because I was just Sick to fuck at the space That so many half shitty socks Were taken up I was going You know what Fuck them They're going I was in Duns every second week Buying new fucking socks Buying new socks you couldn't just yeah. because they were that, you just because the socks, they were, they were just a fucking crud at the fucking top of my yeah, wash. Gone. They, they, if if anything was causing a fucking problem, the socks were to fall. Sling them. They were fucking gone. That's a gun. Like you, you mentioned throwing stuff over the backs of chairs, Tom. Mm-hmm. You don't just throw things over the back of a chair. Okay. If you've got a jumper that you want to get dry, I see my jumper I'm wearing here now. Your jumper, you're yeah. Wearing, right? You don't just throw it over the back of a chair. Right. You actually put it. On the back of the chair. On the chair. Yeah, like like you're putting it on okay, I'm learning, a person, I'm learning and, and that gives you a space between the front and the back of the jumper, right. and it just dries it all the more. You see, stick with me, and I'll learn you, Tom. All right, fucking I'm hell. Not, I'm not talking about like oh, I, I don't mind doing the washing. I fucking can't wait for wash day every week. <laughs> I swear to God, are you that organized that you have a set day? I mean, well, with the wee man now going through clothes now, you have a couple of days in the week. Okay, okay yeah. and you know, you get all your washing, and I gotta tell you, with the introduction of the of the little man in. Into the into the wash, yeah, that really helped with a clothes horse, okay, yeah, because uh, on a clothes horse you might put a jumper and have no space for another jumper, yeah, but with the wee man you can put my jumper and two of his jumpers, oh class, and it yeah, just completely yeah, yeah. fills everything. That up. makes sense now. That's why clothes horses were never suiting me. Yeah, it's just it's brilliant. And I'll tell you what's better again for socks and things like this. Uh, we've got like I call it the octopus, which is like a little oh yeah the thing with yeah, loads yeah. of arms, yeah, and you peg it. And I was having such a great time with the octopus, Tom. Uh, I went out and I bought another one. <laughs> you have a fucking problem yeah. with pride. And the missus goes to me like, yeah, do you need anything? Uh, are we doing anything at the weekend? And I goes, well... <sighs> <laughs> you were actually fucking getting excited about I, this. You know what? If we have time, I'd really love to run down to the shop and get a new octopus for the clothes on. <laughs> are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> Oh for fuck's sake But that's it I mean like There you go I'm gonna spend the half Of every podcast Giving out about shit I have a quick question Yeah What Do you prefer Powder or gel And do you use Fabric softener Or are you a believer In fabric softener Or The combo Little fucking baggy things Well Tom I gotta be honest with you now I, We use like liquid uh, Parcel I guess And Lenore Fabric softener Oh but I'm not entirely sure which drawer of the washing machine each one goes that's into. Where, that's where I was leading to next. Fuck, okay, so you don't know either. No. <coughs> I just sort of I, I, I just sort of tip it into whichever one's first. Have you ever used, like, the fucking, you know, the Aldi version ones? They're a complete waste of fucking time, like. No, I don't oh. believe so, no. No, I mean, well, you're I, dead right to stick with the fucking brand name. They know well, what they're doing. I go up to the border, and, like, you know the way, if you're ever up around the border in Northern Ireland... Um, there's like lads selling big boxes of yeah, washing yeah, powder yeah. around the back of a container on the side of the road. <laughs> like it's not a shop, yeah. it's like a steel container on the I've side of the road. I've fucking seen those, I've never you know once pulled, yeah, yeah, I've never yeah. pulled in. You go up to them and here's what you can buy in them, right? You can buy um, briquettes, mm-hmm. uh, you can buy um, like trays of minerals. 
like fucking football fucking special. Yeah, no, no, like trays of coke and and, and this okay. kind of, Yeah, you can you can buy trays of coke. You can buy um big things of uh big bulk but ba- bulk packs of toilet roll. Right, and you can buy washing powder. I'll tell you, there's a petrol station that you'll love. So it's on the N4. And that's exactly what they say. That's, exactly, that's they, what it is. And they take all this shit in, in the night time. How the fuck, like some poor, most fortunate prick. It's his job to take in night. Come in at five in the morning and just wheel this shit out. And that's exactly what they have. They have 250 fucking toilet rolls. Yeah. Fucking bo- boxes of bold that would honestly, you they do, you, you can buy yeah, it at no, fucking I, New like, Year's and do you like, for the year. Once every, once every like 18 months or two years, I do go up and buy like... Three gal- three or four gallons of Paris and three or four gallons of Lenore. <laughs> At least you're making it manly. Yeah. You're you're making it good now. I'll have a gallon. Three, oh, yeah, well, I'll buy that shit by the gallon, yeah. <laughs> well, it's know, good prep, to know. Yeah. It's good to know, yeah, that you... you... Clothes are clean, smell from that. I know where I'm taking my fucking clothes from now on, so if that's the case, now, with, I, with, I want to keep you happy, Jerry. With all this being said, Tom, I fucking hate ironing. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right, no. I tell you one that's thing. That's some of the fuck ironing, bro. Her, for a brief period, we lived with ourselves parents, and I swear to God, the woman is a fucking angel. I, like, but to a scary point, she ironed my underwear. Yeah, no. Yeah. No. Yeah, yeah. Uh-uh. Yeah. Not happening. Yeah, she ironed the sheets. She ironed it and took. She claims not to take massive pleasure in it, but she you could tell fucking loved yeah. it. Yeah, she That's loved like me on the watch. She had mad pride. Yeah. in that that she was able to organize this whole ship. Like you know what I mean. And it was I was happy to let her. I'm the same. I have mad pride in in in, in doing a, doing a wash and getting it washed and getting it all put away. It's all good. Christ right. as fuck because I'm not ironing. <laughs> I'll iron a short as and when. You fucking iron it when you put it on you. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Bit of body heat within two just fucking like minutes. Yeah, just fun. give it a shake. Give it a shake, you'll be fine. So there you go, Tom. I don't want to hear anybody saying that we're overly yeah. negative. There's things we love. Yeah. Not necessarily not necessarily what you might think we would love, but there you go. Yeah, it wasn't conventional, but yeah, I like it. I like mm. it. Yeah, yeah. So then we're going to stick a pin in the in episode one, season two. Yeah, very yeah. glad to be back. Yeah, very glad, glad to be back. back here yeah, in the flapping our gums and whatnot. Tom and Jerry Mobile Podcast Recording Studio. Uh, we're going to tip on and we'll see you again next week for the next podcast in the meantime you can follow us on Twitter at Tom and Jerry show no ampersands just as you hear it there no underscores no bullshit like that oh you fuck off fuck off I knew you were going to just bring up the underscores and ampersands and all the rest of it like because I have no, an underscore like, at Tom and Jerry show it's just a nice yeah, beauty yeah. to that yeah there is there is yeah there, I'd like there is one to just at Jerry McBride at Jerry well. McBride yeah, yeah, yeah. with a G not a J I might tell you no underscores no nothing like that and Tom what's yours again ah fuck off it's Tom under Score O'Mahony, you know what it is. There you go. Yeah, fair enough. <laughs> All right, we'll catch you next week. <laughs> Take care, everybody. Good luck, good luck, good luck.